Pina Colada, the most popular cocktails nowadays which people enjoy in parties. The name itself is so attractive. Hello and welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana and to the Ultimate Baking Series with me, Chef Apraz. Today, I'm going to show you a very stunning recipe of Pina Colada Cheesecake. So let's get started. So pineapple being the most important ingredient in the pina colada drink, we are also going to use it in a cheesecake. So while I'm chopping this, also I'm going to heat up a pan, to which I'm going to add the tin syrup of the pineapple. With that, I'm going to add my favorite spice, star anise, to give a nice flavor. And here, as you see, the syrup has come to a boil, and the syrup is infused with the flavor of star anise. I'm going to shut the gas, add this hot syrup to the chopped pineapple. I'm going to cover this with a clean flim, and I'm going to keep this in the refrigerator. Now let's start with the base. So for that, I'm going to use some digestive biscuit. So let's take a mixy jar and put it into a jar. And then I'm going to grind this into a fine powder. So now this is done. I'm going to quickly transfer the mixture in a bowl. Next to the biscuit, Make sure I'm going to add two tablespoons of melted butter and mix this nicely. And now once the butter is nicely incorporated with the biscuit mixture, I'm going to take a lovely jar and then I'm going to make the base with this biscuit mixture. So now I've put the base. So let's keep this in the refrigerator till we make our cream cheese mixture. So before we start making our cream cheese mixture, I'm going to take some water in a bowl and then I'm going to sprinkle one and a half teaspoon of gelatin into the water and now I'm going to let this bloom. So I'm going to set this aside and then I'm going to grab a large bowl to which I'm going to add cream cheese. Also I'm going to add some hung yogurt. For the sweetness I'm going to add some condensed milk and then I'm going to start mixing this. So now once this is nicely mixed and it is creamy, I'm going to add some coconut cream as coconut is also one of the ingredients in making pina colada. So let's add that too. With that, a drop of yellow color. So now this is done. Also here, as you can see, the gelatin has bloomed. And now I'm going to microwave this for around one minute. And now finally, I'm going to fold some whipped cream. So let's add first one third of the whipped cream. Fold this nicely. And now let's fold the remaining two third. So now you see the gelatin has nicely melted and you don't see any lumps. Now, I'm going to take some of the mixture and add this to the gelatin. As we should always mix some of the mixture with the gelatin first and then add it to the mixture so that it sets evenly. So once this is mixed, I'm going to add this to the remaining mixture and then mix this nicely. So now you see the gelatin is also nicely mixed and a creamy mixture is ready. So now I'm going to gently pour the mixture into the jar. You can also use a piping bag by pouring it right in the center so that when you tap this, it spreads easily. So now after pouring the mixture, I'm going to... so that it evenly spreads. And now I'm going to keep this in the refrigerator to set for around seven to eight hours. But once it is semi-set, I'm going to put the chopped pineapple over it. So now the cheesecake has semi-set at this stage. I'm going to top it up with the pineapple. Also, I'm going to place the star anise. And then I'm going to garnish it with some mint sprig. And then, oh yeah, I have a cute tag which says, don't drink, eat it. So there you go, our lovely pina colada cheesecake is ready. The tag says it right. Don't drink, eat it. I know you like our videos, so hit the subscribe button. Stay connected, happy cooking.